Sa and the Medusa. Sa was the only one as his knee school with one eye. One day he bumped into Mark. Can't you see one eye? Mark asked. Just then, Sa saw Medusa. Medusa could turn people to stone when they looked in the eye. This gave Sa an idea. I see something cool over there, Sa said to Mark. He pointed to Medusa. Mark looked Medusa in the eye as once he turned to stone. Then Sa looked Medusa in the eye by mistake. To his surprise, he did not turn to stone. Mark was taken to the nurse to be turned back to normal. Medusa ran away in tears. Sai found her outside. Go away or you will turn to stone, Medusa said. He looked right at me. And I'm fine, Sai said. Maybe it's my one eye, he added. Medusa looked at Sai and her face lit up. I can't look at anybody else, she said. I don't look at people anyway, Sai said. I don't see well, but I don't want to wear the silly monocle, he added. So I pulled the monocle from his pocket and held it up to his face. In the seat, Mr. asked. Sure, Sai asked, said. A beret. Travel shop class, Medusa said. That gave Sai an idea. In shop class, Sai walked on a visitor from Medusa. When a visitor was done, Medusa tested it. There was mirror there were mirrors inside. They made it so she did not make direct eye contact with anybody. When she used it, no one turned to stone. You did it, Medusa said. I've been working on your monocle. She added as she handed it to side. Then the monocle had a cool leather strap. That's this I could wear, I said. Thanks for your help, Morusa said. After class, Morusa and Sa headed out together. Neither of them stared at the ground. Goodbye, everyone. See you later. Good job.